Hi everybody, Serkin here. Happy Monday nights. I uh, I was actually singing along with the music that time, and I had to catch myself because I got to the point where I unmute my mic, and then I realized all of you nerds would have heard me doing a little ditty along with a little ditty, and that would have just been unacceptable. Um. So yeah, thanks for being here. We're joined by four four very wonderful people this evening, and we're just gonna go clockwise in the order that my Skype has you, which actually is going to work out alphabetically, too, now that I look at it. Aussie, we have our, our Down Under staff member here. Say hello. G'day, Mike. So, how are you, all you wonderful people this evening? I'm great. We're, yeah. we're happy you're here. I'm happy you're here. I think this is like only the second Monday night you've been on for. And yeah, so I think that's uh, A+. Plus. I'm glad you're back, sir. Uh, Bracknar. Yar. Another, another fellow staff member. Say hello to these fine people. Hello again. It's good to, it's good to have you back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a spoiler here in the chat room. We don't have any new guests. Everybody here has been here before. Um, we have the very wonderful Unomia. Say hello, Unomia. Hello everyone, and I just want to want to know that we um this is my favorite group of people. I love these people. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> and we have P99's very own green grocer. Before you say words, though, sir, I'm going to tell you I was in my kitchen earlier today, and I was debating what I was going to eat. I ended up just having leftover French fries that I didn't finish last night, but. While I was doing that, I was trying to think of a really nifty way to introduce you to stream. And I was trying to think of plays on words like like, like uh, the Prince of Pie or the, the King of Cake or the Sultan of Steaks or something. Or all of them. Bloomin' Onions. Bloomin' Onions. The problem with Bloomin' Onions is I, I need another like B word or an O word to make it work. <clears throat> It's too hard. I don't even know if it works with a double worded food. It might look Aussie. You might just not get it. It might be an American thing. It's, it's. I'm trying to make him the Muhammad Ali of food. Is the blue and onion an actual Australian thing? No, I don't no, think. I don't know. Yeah, because it's, like, it's the freaking Outback Steakhouse, which is all, it's an American as you can get. I was gonna say I don't think Outback is actually Australian oh, no. food. Yeah, it's a drone question. I, yeah, well, you know, if, if Outback is Australian, then Foster's is Australian. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> huh. We just send that shit to you guys so you can all drink it. So, oh, can I swear, sir? Can... You oh. can say everything except uh, racial things, and basically you can you have to follow our forum rules, <laughs> and you'll be fine. <laughs> well, you know me is going to ban me by the end of the evening, then. <laughs> She might. She's she's a mod here. She could absolutely ban you from this here oh, channel. Geez. She has the power. So so I'm gonna go the other way now. I'm gonna start with the green grocer, sir. Pretend there's someone here who's watching for the very first time, and they legitimately have never heard of you. Tell them who you are. Tell them a little bit about what you do in game, and uh, and words. Use your words. Words. I've got some words. So, uh, if you are new to P99, um, or if you don't spend a lot of time in the East Sea Tunnel, you uh, may not have run into me. I run a little food shop in the back of East Sea Tunnel on Blue, um, and sell all sorts of fresh produce and drinks and steaks and desserts and what have you. Uh, <clears throat> I actually. I'm like super hardcore about it. Like I went and made made it a big uh, quest of mine to go out and find all the meats and collect all the meats and get you know like a stack of every meat uh, and just kind of pour myself into it. Basically, I am really bad at the game, and this gives me a way to still play because I love EverQuest, <laughs> and it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, everyone needs to eat. And it's it's something I enjoy to do. I can't really quite explain it. I get a lot of uh, people uh, come up to me and they just kind of laugh 
and then I will trade them uh, all the bags that I have, and they'll you know pour through them, and like pretty much every time for the first person, like for the first time someone's come up, when they do that, I get the same reaction, which is just like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? I right, well, um, is there anything that you've made that players like no player has purchased yet? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I think <laughs> now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure I have been sitting on a uh, an entire stack of uh, pickled lizard. <laughs> not not a good seller, huh? No, it really, really isn't. Uh, it's not a special. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, I, I and I run a. a I usually like leave the stream up during the day, uh, just sort of like as like a little interactive billboard for people to check it, check it out. Uh, and I get a lot of folks that will stop in with the same kind of like, like people will just come in and just type WTF question mark. <laughs> and like, that's the, like, that's the whole message. Just like, what in the hell is, is even happening right now? Oh. And I don't know. I have a hard time explaining it sometimes myself. I don't even think you always know what's happening on your Tell street. me about your mushrooms, Green Grocer. I'm looking at your online menu currently, and they are 24k each. Wait, they they must be some amazing mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing about those mushrooms, I've never I've never seen anybody else with just the just the plain old basic mushroom, and I think that used to be a fo uh, a forage that you could pick up a long, long time ago. And someone either traded those to me, didn't want them, or maybe I foraged them a long time ago, but I hung on to them. And I'm pretty sure you can't get those anymore. So those are like, you know, that's that's an endangered fungus. So uh, if you want to, you know, eat a little piece of history here on Project 1999, you can uh, you can buy a one of a kind, well, five of a kind. I think, I think there's five left for... Uh, the low, low price of 25,000 platinum. <laughs> Have you ever eaten any really good food by accident? Uh, yeah, I've fallen asleep before, and Green Grocer has just, like, sort of gone through, like, a rampage in the bags and <laughs> torn through everything. I'll wake up and, you know, I, it's like, be do, you know, make, making the coffee, and then it's like, I remember, oh, crap. I don't <laughs> think I, I don't think I logged out. I go and half my fruit juice is gone, and I'm sad. How would you feel if I went and spread throughout the world our uh, GM-created food, like milk and cookies? How would that make you feel as the I green would love, grocer? I, would, I am all for that. I think we need more flavor in the but world. So, would that I, not put you out of business? I mean, you know, we were feeding the masses. Hey cookies go away you know you eat the cookie and then and then what do you have you have nothing you have you have the desire for more cookies and and gm aussie isn't always going to be you know around to to spread magical cookies all over the lands of norath so you know when 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 you get that pang you there, there's one place that you know you can always go and that's your, your local green grocer and conveniently located in the back of the east common lands tunnel Staff members may not always be online, but Nam Santo Industries is. <laughs> That's right. We're watching. <laughs> uh, what's your most uh, commonly sold food? Oh, man. It's got to be a toss-up between Dwarf Chops and uh, Gnome Kebabs. They're, <laughs> they're, they, they give you the stats you need to get through your day. You know? It's, it's uh, plus two, plus two strength and stamina for the uh, dwarf chops and I think it's plus two int for the uh, gnome kebabs so there's a lot of casters that uh, that are into those a lot of gnomes actually it's really kind of funny the gnomes are really really big uh, big purchasers of the gnome kebab product so they're made from gnomes or they're made by gnomes Hey, you know, I just sell them. Uh, <laughs> I I have I have a whole chain of people that, that work for me, and uh, I, I can tell you what's on the package. It says gnome kebabs, so you know, uh, f uh, let your let your taste buds answer that question for you, I guess. 
<laughs> um, gotta try some. Toon has a question for you. He wants to know if you even pixie powder cinestick, bro. Oh, oh, bro. I pixie powder cinestick <laughs> quite a bit. That's kind of what baking turns into. It's just like, it's this grind at the end just to like farm up pixie dust. So uh, sometimes I'll just like sit in GFA and put up the auction to uh, buy pixie dust from the, the noobs that are starting through. And it's good. I pay five uh, plat per pixie dust. So if you're starting out <laughs> and you have some, can't get enough of that dust. That's horrible. Did you make enough profit selling your food to pay oh, for? God, no, no. I'm constantly <laughs> like right on the edge of just like being completely broke. People come up oh. and they're like, "Hey, I have 220 mammoth meat that I want to sell you," and I'm like, uh, "Okay," and like check my pocket and I have like 50 plat, and I, I'll buy that for 10 plat uh, each, you know. So it's like I don't have the 2200. <laughs> flat just sitting on me so uh there have been some really really generous uh people though um Hinfec, namely uh recently just came by and was like hey here's five thousand dollars to help run the shop and i needed it desperately because there were all these people that were bringing me uh things that i said i would buy for certain amounts of money <laughs> you meant five thousand platinum yeah what i said <laughs> just want just want to be clear <laughs> you said and, uh, $5,000. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. That would be a really good deal. <laughs> Let me tell you. Like, I'd, I'd go set up a grocery stand for that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, A plus. So now I understand why you want the EC Tunnel Casinos back. It all, It's yeah, all baby. coming together. You're a dirty arm here. It's a new pair of boots. Mm hmm. You know, I really want to make, like, a red grocer and set him up right next to you. You're actually too late. Oh, is there somebody? Oh, there might. Uh, on on the blue server, that name might be available. But I rolled on red uh, a <laughs> character named Grocer. And uh, I, I haven't I haven't uh, been playing on there very much. But um, I got hooked for a while on red. Red was fun. Like, I, I – there were a bunch of us that were uh, chatting in the plug DJ room that uh, Swish uh, put, oh, put up. Oh, I was in there. They some Someone <laughs> played Informer by Snow. That was oh, a nice. thing that happened in my life Lucky yesterday. Boom, boom, down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't talk because oh, they were like, you need to register an account. And I was playing Rust. And I couldn't be bothered to sign up. But uh, Oh, so you, you were in there like as a guest. <laughs> yeah, I was lurking. Yeah. I lurk. I like to lurk. I lurk in a lot of places. I was going to say something, though. You don't sound like you're bad at the game. You sound like you're a specialist. That's all. You focus on one area, and that's just your area. And sure. you're just going to be the best you can be at it. That's, you know what? I think I'm just going to say that from now on. <laughs> that's a little more flattering. Yes. <laughs> like, hi, I'm a green grocer. I'm a specialist. <laughs> oh... So I'm trying to think if I have any uh, Nam Santo y questions. Well, I, you know, honestly, I really, I lately haven't been doing much of the food thing because I've been, I've, I've been all bum fights all the time. Uh, and oh my we're, god, we're bum ready. fights! Hold on, I don't want to do what? bum fights yet. Hold oh, on. Do we, oh, you have a thing. I, 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 I wanna, I wanna do a round of, of like, too long didn't read hellos, for people that. You know, a lot of people, they watch every week, yep. but some people, right it's their first time, and they're like, I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. Not a single one. Not even the one right now. And yeah. and so, we're helping them. We're giving them a little backstory. We're not just jumping right into it. But we're going to jump into bum fights in a second, because that's something that needs to be jumped into. Um, I mean, we're just going to go, we're going to go to Unomia. I don't have it in a nifty like square of icons anymore because we lost Aussie. So I can't do the order I was doing previously, but whatever. I think it still works. I think it's the same. You know Mia. Hello. Hi. Um Well, you're a staff member, you're our your P ninety nine senior guide. You you have minions above you and you have minions below you and and 
a lot of shit probably rolls downhill onto your plate, but some of it you can pass off onto other people. I have been doing more of that lately. <laughs> That's a good feeling. Delegating is a skill yeah. that you're going to need to survive on this staff. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, I'm a guide, and mostly I work the petition form. That's where I... That's where I spend most of the day popping in and out, answering questions and setting up the um, refunds for Sirkin to do. Sirkin is like my boss. <laughs> and... I don't know about that. I'm, I'm kind of like... I'm like the supervisor of the floor that you work on. You're my boss. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like anybody's boss. And Aussie and Brackner are my co-workers. Kind of. <laughs> they, they do very well whatever we don't we're not workers we're volunteers so they're my co-volunteers we're gluttons we, for punishment yeah we pretty much do the same thing um and we answer the petition queue in the game which has just recently been greatly improved thanks to Haynar and Praise. it has he has added some wonderful time-saving features um there's one so. thing there's one thing i don't like and it's just complete nitpicking but oh, there's one thing i don't know if you thing. should say it because i think say i know it. what it is you might and maybe there's a way to fix it but but so if I, you tell people that that's a thing they might abuse it all right look look i'm just gonna <laughs> say that the old way if you did a certain thing it would <laughs> take care of a whole bunch of things right. but now you have to like click 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 i know but it's just clicking it's not you know i know but eight clicks is is ah. not necessarily better than one typey typey that's okay <laughs> i know like i said it's nitpicking it's very small nitpicking but i'm just saying like in a perfect world just one click Actually, um, two. Click, click. This morning, I did a um, death loop um, res because I do them. Because Rogan said I could do them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> he lost. <laughs> he lost four levels, mm -hmm. and there was a ton of corpses. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It was just click, 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 click. Whereas before, it was type, 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 type. So. Wait, you can click for the re for the yes. Time? Oh yes. my gosh! You didn't know that? <clears throat> no, it's, it's it awesome. Is... <laughs> that would have taken me probably an hour and a half this morning to pull all those corpses up by hand, and all I had to do is go through the list and click. Oh it was man, really, really nice. I remember one time the server went down, and a bunch of people died, and so the server came up, and then the server went down again, and so a bunch more people died. And the server came up, and a certain ex-staff member, like, broadcasted, Hey, everybody, if you need a res, make a petition. And then that nerd logged off two minutes later, and the <laughs> petition forum was just flooding, just flooding in. And, and, oh, I was so mad. I was so mad. But we got through it. <laughs> I, I asked the clerics of Norath to assist me. Yeah, that was my... My first two months as a guide was a lot of that. It yeah. was good practice, but... Everyone starts on the bottom. I I, I probably had, like, basic, minimum, uh, like, bottom-level access longer than all of you guys. I know, mm. I know some of you longer than others, but you guys, man, I, I had basic guide access for almost a year. And the only reason I got any kind of promotion is because everybody between me and Rogan got disappeared. <laughs> and so, like, just by <laughs> default, just I, I win. <laughs> mm. Disclaimer, I didn't make anyone do anything. They just were no longer with us, and so... Sure, sure. And so, the spot needed to be filled. We're going to... No, you know what? God damn it. Real quick. Slave 35, for your question, yes, that's Rogan only stuff. Uh, yo, Sirkin, hearing rumors Velius is canceled. What do you gotta say about this? That's crazy talk. 
Um, we could have released Velius in June. Velius is fine. Um, uh, I think this is a question for Greengrocer. He want Yuckers wants to know what your favorite Pokemon is. Nope. That's no, not for me. that's not for him. That's not a thing. Uh, any ETA on Velius Beta? To c your spelling of Beta messed up my reading of that entire sentence, sir. But it's it's. For, I talked to Nilbog and I called Nilbog out on it, and Nilbog told me it's on Rogan now. So direct all your hate for Beta server being down at Rogan until he has us directed at somebody else. We're just passing the buck on that. Uh, do, 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 do. Yucker says, poor Unomia. Serkin's the worst boss ever. Nah. Um, Sama D Sit wants to know how closely guarded is the server source code. I can actually speak to this because I've seen this with my own eyes. It's in a double vaulted room. The first doors require both fingerprints and retina scanning. The second set of doors actually draws blood from you to make sure there's a straight up DNA match. <clears throat> Inside the room we have two dogs and a goblin and and just turrets pointed at the server with a self-destruct grenade strapped to the back that Nilbog and Rogan can both activate from their smartphones or any internet connected device. So I think it's safe to say the server source code is is very closely guarded. Um, Alaris just woke up, so he wants to know who's on stream. It's it's me, the wonderful uh, Serkin, and we have we have uh, Unomia and Aussie and Bracknar, and we have P ninety nine's Green Grocer. Uh, da, 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 da. Yuckers wants to know what are you CS resting people for death loops? If you're dumb enough to bind into a death loop, you should lose that XP. You know what? There's a lot of things that if we just wanted to make people's lives harder, we could. Such as people who lost items because they gave it to their pet, or turned in a quest to the wrong NPC, or a lot of things and and we just do them because we don't want to punish you we want you guys to play here we want you guys to have fun yes everquest is a is a game that is very unforgiving but there's little things that just happen and and we don't want people well it, it's just a thing it's just a decision we decided to do to make your lives easier <clears throat> um do, 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 do. Wait, what? What do you think about blah, blah, blah? I don't know if this has been talked to death or not. What do you think about Red 99 at the same time of Velius so that server isn't so packed and people stop whining on the forums? I don't understand, Sir Tracer HD, because... He's talking about the Velius release dates. Blue and red have got two separate release dates. I think he wants them at the same time. Oh, we got reasons for that. They're good reasons. You just have to have faith in us. Blind, absolute, unquestioning faith. Uh, we're going to do it for red and then not for... No, I'm kidding. Oh, God, no. Don't, don't start rumors <laughs> like that. <laughs> and yes, Sama, I do think it's enough to stop the neckbeards. But should one you know, craft a medieval-style mace and break through... That's why we have the self-destruct things in place. We'll take the whole P99 office building out if we have to. It's fine. The whole thing's wired to blow. Um, so now that we're caught up Speaking on questions, of... I oh, feel wait. good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jump in there. Can you get some more coffee for our coffee machine? Like, dude, what the fuck? Here's the thing. I don't drink coffee, <laughs> and whoever uh, took the last cup should make the next pot. So so you got you got to talk to one of those coffee drinker peoples. That is not me. See, and at the office, I'm the guy that's a coffee snob that brings my own coffee with my own French press. <laughs> I really do that. At my oh, work, by I the bet way. people love you at your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <clears throat> oh, you know me? Yes. How long have you been on this here staff? I started in October of 2013. 
Oh man. What are you still doing here? <laughs> why ask yourself that why haven't you gone running for the hills yet? Because I'm I'm the type of person that sets goals for myself, and then once I reach that goal, I evaluate and then set another goal. So oh. I'm I'm in it for two years, for sure. Be careful! I set some goals with that mindset like four, oh, almost right. four years I mean, ago, and guess what? Right. <laughs> still here. Still got right. that checklist. I mean. I mean, the ultimate goal is to outlast you. But Good luck with I, that. I don't, I don't know if I can do it. We'll see. Good luck with that. You gotta remember, I dealt three years on VZTZ yeah. before P99, so that was yeah. like Red 99 pretty much for three years. Right. Yeah. And then I came here, and I thought it was gonna be so great and wonderful. And you know what? I will say it's better because the staff over there specifically their version of rogan was just an absolute fuck up and he would only log in once a week uh he actually did shit that like people tinfoil and accuse rogan of doing like he actually did like yeah. give gear That's to people and he actually did like give people information and and then for a staff member he was just irresponsible if like uh, we have a whole thing you guys all know i know when you join staff here, you're given minimal access and you are given minimal responsibility. And it's a lot like Fight Club. Like, if you don't really want to be here, we're going to weed you out. And, and I don't know, I kind of feel like that applies in both. But, uh... Yeah, I'm... I think part of the reason that I do want to stay on staff as long as possible is because, I mean, I love the project. That's why I'm volunteering in the first place. But I really do love um, Rogan and Nilbog. I They're wonderful people, and I want to help them. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's the whole community thing, kind of, in a way. Like, the staff is our guilt, you know? And so, like, other people who play, they're like, Oh, you know, I don't want to quit because... I love all my guildies and this person and my ranger friend and my necro friend and this friend oh, and that no, friend. No, nobody has ranger friends. Well, I mean, <laughs> Uber Bandit had some friends. <laughs> but uh, it's the same way. Like, we keep logging in after years and years because, you know, it, it's the people. It's it's you guys. It's fucking uh, Rogan and Nobog. It's the devs that we chit-chat with in the CSR discussion group uh it's 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 all of those people and and i think community is just as much of it's a smaller community for sure but i think community is just as much a reason for us to keep logging in as uh players and green grocer i'm sorry i keep like talking like you're not here but uh you're just grossly outnumbered by staff members this evening so you're gonna have to deal with that you're the minority no tonight problem. sir no problem. God damn I'm used to just kind of sitting in the back of the tunnel, you know, sort of star <laughs> staring at the, uh, the wall anyway, so. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, Mia, can I ask if there's anything you could share with us in regards of, uh, like, what were some of the things that you really wanted to do? Like, reasons to join staff, things that you really wanted to change or improve or end or bring about or any of those things? I'm sure some of them are private. You don't want to tell us, but if there's any you could share, I would like to hear them. I'm sure some other people would like to know what it was that brought you uh, into their lives as our P99 senior guide. Well, I wanted to help. Um, I And I was not able to donate financially, so it was easier for me to donate my time. And I enjoy I enjoy helping people that are you know they kind of freak out and you know like oh my god my my corpse rotted and then you pull it up and they're just like oh, you know relieved like, oh my god it's magic yeah how I did like you do this like that um uh. I, I mean I initially I wanted to be able to do like events Mm -hmm. but 
there's just not enough time and we don't have like the abilities to do them. So that's, you know, I, I have good intentions regarding that, just not the ability and the time right now. Well, I'm sorry that I took like half of the CSR staff over to Rust. I'm sure that's <laughs> not helping. <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not two of the people in this call right now. <clears throat> Definitely not. Have um, you guys ever considered maybe like asking interested players that would, you know, that, that love the server but aren't, you know, aren't quite willing to be on staff but would love to contribute time and energy and ideas and, you know, even maybe like, I, I know there's a lot of really technically savvy uh, folks out there. If there was a group of, of players that might might want to script something or come up with, uh, you know, a concept or, you know, e even the code, again, if, if, if it was possible, I mean, would that be something that you guys would be into? Because, I mean, they'd have to talk events to are Nilbog. fun. Yeah, they would have to go through Nilbog. But I know that most of the devs, except for like Hanris and Hanar, Pretty much all of the devs play and so i don't see what the difference would be between uh the devs writing something and they're being you know because they're players or players actually doing some dev stuff the only problem would be um like say it's a quest and there's a certain thing or a certain trick to kill something whoever writes it's going to know how to do it and so like if oh, okay. super big yeah. guild a is like we wrote this thing! And then, you know, coincidentally, they're the guild that kills it. Like, that's not going to look good. Hmm. Yeah. But I think it's a good idea. I think they should still talk to Nilbog. There might be some people who aren't in raiding guilds or people, some kind of event that wouldn't be decided in that kind of way. I don't know. If you've got the talent and you want to do something, you should talk to Nilbog because he's the guy... Who does all of those things <clears throat> yeah I've talked to some people about different uh, event ideas and they don't really understand how complicated it can get to have an MPC respond and you know give you text and I know how complicated it is yeah and and <laughs> also like factions because oh god all everyone would be able would need to be able to interact with the NPC. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep our code very classic. That's <laughs> uh, right, Cobalt. Uh, <laughs> are wondering. It's no, it's not. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm looking back in the chat room because I see a bunch of things. Um, he didn't mean red, he meant recycle server. That is something, like, we're not even talking about on staff. I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for that. Um, da, 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 da. will we ever make Kunark lazy aggro code and slash pet attack only work within close distance more classic? If you don't think it's classic, you should bug report it. And if you have evidence of it being different, then you should bug report it. Basically, if it's not the way it should be, you should bug report it and send some proof with that bug report. And the devs will do everything they can to make it as frustratingly classic for players as they possibly can. Uh, for Green Grocer, Robo Space Cop wants to know, what are some foods you are excited for coming with Velius? Oh, man. Uh, it... it the the one definitely the the biggest i gotta say clam chowder i love soup soup <laughs> is is really good food and clam chowder is my favorite soup and it's coming ladies and gentlemen <laughs> prepare your taste buds for clam chowder goodness it's just uh, another what is it less than a month now um are we uh, in no, july yet? More, no a little more than a month yeah oh my god i don't even know what day we're on anymore my life is falling apart uh, and sea dragon steaks because I'm I'm cooking it, you know I'm doing it. <laughs> you got it's the meat. It's happening. Yeah, I got I got one. There was a really really generous uh, donor last summer. Uh, Umbrella, I believe. Umbrella with an N. 
Is that right? Oh, umbrella. Yeah. Is that, is that the? Is that how that is? But uh, yeah, he, he he came up and tossed one in my trade window, and I snatched it up. And I, even if he was joking, it was too late because I hit, <laughs> I hit the accept button. I was like, this is mine now. So yeah, I'm I'm cooking it. I know you're you can make some really kick-ass uh, idol or something, but you know, fuck that. <laughs> That's what, I, that. that's what I think. <laughs> There's enough idols on the server. I know. <clears throat> we need more dragon steaks. Sea dragon steaks, sorry. That's right. Not just any dragon steak. Yep. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I'm gonna sell them for. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I'd Fair. start with like... 100,000? I, I was thinking even more than that, but... Yeah? I don't know. I mean, I know. I mean how, rich, how rich are the rich people here? Like, because I don't even know. Like, I... In a given week, I go between zero and and three thousand platinum typically, and usually it's it's closer to zero. <laughs> Not counting but, guild banks, I'd say there's probably a dozen legit millionaires on the server. Okay, but I could be I'm just pulling that out of my ass. I could be completely off base. So when I ask, like you know, uh, for a million dollars for the Arctic scallop, like Wait, no, no, not dollars, yeah, or dollars. <laughs> Guys, get your mind out of your RMT business, <laughs> sir. You just shine the bright light on him and get him in a chair. And get I know, I know. I have questions for you when we're done here tonight. I do have a character named Pleat Lord. He sells pants. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! I swear to God, I'll log on to. I a believe link. you. I absolutely believe oh, I you. Oh, I have personally I got, witnessed that. I got le leather <laughs> leggings. I got rawhide. I got cloth. I got small. I got large. I got it all. I, I even got shirts. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Um, Lion Court. There is no possible way you're going to get the guild management window on P99. That shit is so not classic. Sorry. I know it would make everyone's lives easier. Um, Aussie. Yes. Hello. Hi there. How long? When? Hmm. When did you join staff? How long have you been on staff? It's pretty much the same question, but I'm asking them separately anyway. You can I, answer however you want. I joined the staff in April of 2014. So you can figure out how long that's been. That's one year less than you know me. Yeah. That's all. That's it. That's that's how long you've been on staff. That's correct. Mm hmm. Why'd you join staff, sir? What was it about this fine, illustrious server? And what did you? What was it about the staff that you're like? I can do things. What 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 <laughs> got you to apply and be here? I um I I just wanted to be able to assist people. I guess um. The fact that I'm from a different time zone, I saw that there was a, a lack of coverage in anything but US-based time zones, so I felt that I could offer that. Um, yeah, just generally wanted to help people out and assist the project. So what you're actually saying, if I may read between the lines here, is that you wanted to provide CSR help to non-Americans. <laughs> no, no, don't be that's, like that. that's how I'm hearing it. <laughs> I hear favoritism for Aussies and Euros and Asians and the, all the non-American time zones. Funnily enough, I spend predominantly most of my time in US-based time zones these days anyway. So that oh, good, goes out good, there. good. Welcome to the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, uh, what is it about staff that keeps you logging in over a year and months later? Um, about the staff, or what is it being on staff, do you mean? Both. Why not? Fuck it. Both. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess um, the community is definitely a, a big part of it. Like, I mostly spend my time on Red, and while the guys, guys there ship me to tears some days, they make me laugh other days too. So, you know, it's a real close-knit community, and I'm part of that community. Whether or not I'm a thorn in their side, um... Yeah, it's a community. And and could would it be fair for me to say that you love that community? Oh, in some ways, yeah. I love them. In some ways, I hate them. <laughs> Red server. It's a love, hate relationship. 
Red Server gets a lot of grief from a lot of people in a lot of places. And I was wondering if you could uh, briefly give a give a little thing about if people are on the fence about Red or they're curious about EQ PvP, what would you uh, what would you tell them about Red? Just log on, try it out. You've got uh, increased experience rates. No matter what you read on the forums, actually don't read anything on the forums because those guys are all just dicks and like to forum quests and stir each other up. Honestly, you log in and say hi to people. People are actually really friendly there to, to new players on Red. As I said, it's definitely a big community. Um, and yeah, no longer do you have to sit in line and wait for your place for that prized piece of loot. Now you just run up and kill the dude and kill the mob and loot it. I mean, that's that's my classic EverQuest experience in a nutshell right there. I just, yeah, I'll, I won't <laughs> say that. <laughs> bring in bring in item loot, that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh man, I know Nilbog's a huge fan of that. And I know if there, if there is, ever is another PvP server, there's going to be item loot, at least in oh, yeah. the name of science. Meat loot. <laughs> I mean, we might be able to do meat loot. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, please. Well, see, that's the thing, Green Grocer. I could run up to you and kill you and loot all of your wares. What? How awesome would that be? All of them, or just one of them? Isn't it? Oh, I would I guess... like to loot all of them, but I think the man that are... would be. Oh my yeah. gosh! Like I, I can't even imagine what that kind of a server would be like. I mean, would anyone actually end up playing there, do you think, with that oh, much what? risk? Yes, Why not? I think so. I just feel like it would be so tough to... There would be... Oh, man. It wouldn't the, have a high population. No, it wouldn't. And, and the people pressure would from, quit all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. The pressure from the people at the top would, would be immeasurable. <laughs> and, it would, and it would probably be a very small number of people at the top who just happen to get there right at the right time and stalk the hell out of it. Oh man, but it'd be such a huge thing when someone on the top turned on somebody else at the top and killed them. True, that's true. We need a Discord server, that's what we need. Not just lose your things, back to level one. Not even that! It deletes your character and makes it so the name can't be reused. <laughs> that's that's oh, a permadeath gosh. server, that's what we wow. need. That's a yeah, hardcore tired. server. That is, is that, that's rough. Is this why you do this, Sirkin? For is is this your soap opera, and 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 the players are your actors, and <laughs> and you know you 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 craft these raid rules to 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 try to get them to be able to build up to to go after each other, and <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that's not the reason, but I'm <laughs> definitely not going to say it is. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a fun meta game. <laughs> look, look, I can only do slash point... gems for so long. I need other things. At this point in your EQ career. Oh, hey, people in chat, if any of you play on Ragefire or Lockjaw, let me know if slash gem works, because I just thought of that, and I want to know if it does. Speaking of uh, Daybreak, <clears throat> did they ever end up authorizing your account to post no i still i still Gosh. do not have posting privileges and <sighs> you know what else you know what else i'm still i heard uh, you mention that in the past like two streams uh i didn't mention it last week i was going to and i just forgot because i was engrossed by micah david's voice yeah i need him i need to get him to record some kind of like cheesy ass elf introduction for my my Monday night streams, oh, he's sure. got it going on. Yeah, I was sad I missed it. Well, youtubecom slash p 99 has it after the fact, but I didn't <laughs> participate live. Oh, it's okay. I just saw an opportunity to plug my stuff, <clears throat> and and I could not pass that up. That's not that's that's beyond me. Oh, Bracknar. Yes. You're the newest of these here staff members. Uh, when did you join? A year after Aussie. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I hate I all knew of that you. was coming. I hate all of you so much. 
Are you really all starting in April, or is this kind of yeah. some kind of scam that you guys well, are I, conspiring? I totally started in April. <laughs> oh, that must man. be the recruitment season. It's you know, not. We have to wait till next April to get another guy. We might. <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely might. I think it just broke Adomia's heart. I mean, that's okay. That's okay. Her heart's going to be broken so many times on this year's staff. That's what we do. We break hearts and we crush dreams. So if you want some of that, www.project1999.com. Scroll down the guide applications, and if you hate yourself, fill one out. You also <laughs> restore uh, cookies and cakes, though, when stupid grocers drop them on the ground and then forget that you dropped them on the ground. If we can verify that you dropped your cookies and cakes and that nobody else picked them up, then yes, we will absolutely restore said cookies and said cake. Correction, we may restore. <laughs> No, we will. We absolutely will. If they're Whoa. cookies and cakes, I feel like you really kind of have to. We, I mean, yeah, our hands are tied at that juncture. Maybe it's, somebody but ate like, them. But like swords and shields and like, you know, useless shit like that, you know? Hey, it's it's just a bunch of metal, really. Well, cookies and cake is game-breaking. I don't want someone to quit their character over that shit. Right. You can always get more fucking armor and weapons and garbage. There's... Yeah, you know, I, I sit in EC Tunnel. You know how many damn swords I see for sale? I mean, come on. Literally, all sipes, si sipes, all sipes. We have all sipes of swords. It's fine. Come down to EC. I think I even saw a sipe for sale. The other you day. might have seen a sipe for sale. That's that's what we have. <laughs> Bracknar, tell me yes. things about your staff so I don't keep talking about sipes. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... I came around because I just have always sort of, I, I always gravitated towards working on staff from all the games I ended up playing uh, through my MMO career. Uh, if there's a, if there, if the game offered a volunteer staff opportunity, I usually like to take it. Um, and uh, I guess a lot of my reasonings were kind of kind of in line with Nomi is there is that you know I don't I don't really have the money to donate, but I would donate my time to the project. I just think it's. It's amazing when you look at it. I think I mentioned before just how well it's done, and it's a group of volunteers, you know. And there, here we have other MMOs that come and go and and just crumple because they're not, and, and they have actual like commercial funds behind them, and you know. So in this marketplace, all these commercial MMOs can't make it. Here's this, you know, group of volunteers making it work. I wanted to be a part of it, so that's that's a lot of why I'm here. And uh, uh, as as Sirkin has pointed out, I've, I have like what, what did you call it a. Uh, uh, something in enthusiasm or uh, I can't oh, remember the words. The words just come the, spewing out of my mouth sometimes. They do. Uh, they but do. I, I'm I'm still blissfully ignorant, I guess, because uh, I'm I, I'm still so new. But uh, my hopes haven't been crushed. My dreams have not been stolen. I also haven't done a lot of time on red, so that may be part of it. Um, oh, that's definitely part of it. You're all <laughs> bright-eyed and hopeful, like you're going to change the world. You know it. It's cute. It's adorable. I see it. I've seen it in every staff member we've ever had. And it, it, it goes away. It goes away. Either it goes away or they go away. One of the two. Some so, people yeah, yeah. don't like being unhappy all of the time, so they quit. But other people, like me, and it looks like you know me too, and, and maybe you as well. And, uh... But uh, we hate ourselves, and if you hate yourself enough, you will you will make it for the long haul. <laughs> it's all about balance, you know. You, you, if you sit there and do it nothing but it all day every day, it just that's what'll kill you. So that's why the that's why rust comes in handy. Yeah. yeah. Or other things. I'll, I'll admit, I uh, you know for all the folks listening, I've actually been playing a lot lately myself, um, which is unusual for some of the some of some of the staff. But uh, just for shits and giggles, I actually started playing again. And I'm, I'm, I'm remembering why I started came to the server to begin with, just because, you know, you just get out there and you have these player experiences where, you know, you meet some random dude and you go and kill something. Or you meet some random dude and you die to something. Uh, it's just it's a fun time. I just can't play anymore. That GM speed has just absolutely ruined it for me. I can't <laughs> stand having it on. I, it's, it's too fast. It drives oh, me nuts. I, I turn it off. That's the only way to travel. I can't. I like walking real slow because it let, lets everyone know you're <laughs> you're the man. Oh, you gotta walk with a swagger. That's right. You're like the ice cream man, though. You you're supposed to go slower than everybody else so that people can run up and buy your stuff. 
Yeah, they need to be able to see what I'm selling. <laughs> well, the rest of us, man, we got we got shit to do. We can't be driving 15 miles an hour down the street. Sipping in the sopping. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, Bracknar. No, I don't give a shit. Green Grocer. <laughs> Sorry, I... Bracknar. <laughs> <laughs> I have... I have... Arguably the most important question of the entire night for you. Okay. What in the hell is P99 bum fights? What in the <laughs> hell is P99 bum fights? I'm glad you asked. P99 bum fights. What is it? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't know. It's 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 <laughs> chaos. It's it's fighting. It's bums. It's, uh, it's, you know, positive attitudes. It's, it's friendship. It's just, a, it's an all around good time. And, uh, at its core, it is two on two player versus player battles that happen here on project 1999 within the EverQuest world. Uh, and it's uh, set up in the fashion of like mortal Kombat or street fighter, where you've got like the health bars up at the top of the screen, um, and the pr probably the the most important part of all of it is uh, I've wired up the sounds from Mike Tyson's Punch Out from NES. <laughs> so as the uh, as the fight happens and the music plays in the background, so at, like as the fight, it's EverQuest, and it's you know bum fighting, but it's also Mike Tyson's Punch Out. At the same time, <laughs> what kind of people do you why get? Not? What kind of people do you get to uh, compete in these in these events? Oh God, uh, I I don't even know who half of the people are because they roll up with you know new level one bum names and I don't know who you know, like it's like it's seriously I don't know what's gonna happen. It's it's always at least you know kind of a a, a huge uh, uh, mess. <laughs> Um, but it's fun and, you know, there's a lot of laughs, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's pretty chaotic. It's pretty disorganized. Uh, I don't really even have a plan right now, but I'm trying to get, uh, interested folks that want to help, like, you know, drop weapons on the ground and help, uh, run the fights. And I would love to have, uh, Sirkin, if, if you or anyone else on staff would like to help host, um, oh, I'm definitely on Sunday. I'm definitely would, involved. I'm I'm gonna get all over that. I would love to have you there, uh, and maybe if you could like death touch people that are misbehaving or something, you know. <laughs> definitely death touch the winners. That. That would be, that'd be helpful. Yes, death touch the winners. Yeah, you know, like the the last one we did, uh, which was back in January, um, the the eventual grand champion winner was like in the middle of the ring, like doing his cheers and clapping for himself. And one of like the level fifty five spectators just like rolled up and one shot at him. It's just like <laughs> done. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, Here's your sandwich. You're dead. Where is so, it gonna be? Uh I think uh Kanos Arena is mm. is is that's where we did it last time. I would love to do it in EC Tunnel, but you would either have to PvP flag or players would have to duel and i don't i don't know i just to me it was or, easier just to do the arena or Sirkin could just turn all of them pvp for the event oh, oh there you go although easy well yeah in the back of ec tunnel could be really cool actually yeah oh man that would that would actually be perfect because i could i mean that's like where i am anyway and the only thing you'd have to worry about is lag mm. oh well May or may not happen. I don't know if you ever lag in EC, but I just know it's the busiest zone we have. Well, I don't know. Could could that be fun? <laughs> are you asking me, or are you <laughs> stating could we, could we, that? Could we spin that into you know? Could 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 it be like a zany, like oh, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know who's actually dead or not. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we play some. Uh, when they fight. Play some yakety sax. <laughs> Oh, that's a great um, point. I, I think we did this last time, but uh, someone had brought that up, and thank you for uh, bringing that up again. Yeah, we, I, I think before you engage battle, you have to drink until you can't drink anymore. <laughs> so, you know, you're if you're trying to joust or whatever, it's you're you're all over the place, and 
you don't know what's happening. What does the winner of bum fights get? Uh, the the official prize is fifty copper pieces nice. and nice. Uh, <laughs> one rat ear sandwich. That's wonderful. Way That's to make a bum's delight like right there. And a pat on the back, a hearty pat on the back. Good job, buddy. You did it. <laughs> You're, yep. I think you need a, a bottle and a bag too, though. No, yeah, actually, <laughs> um, th- the last time we did this, someone brought uh, an entire uh, backpack filled of like uh, Lendl's Grand Lager or, or one of those like special uh, beers you can only get in a certain city, mm-hmm. and. Uh, gave that to the bum at the end he passed them all out and it was fun and 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 the peasants rejoiced the peasants rejoiced that is that is a uh, home improvement uh reference that's that's tim 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 the tool man taylor i just thought you were anyone out there peasants (laughs) well that too oh okay well, in that case, in that case, no problem. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I wanted to ask you a thing. Um, oh, sh- oh, I remember. I was going to say, what you should do, just a suggestion or an idea, if a fight starts to drag on too long, what you should do is just throw one weapon in the middle, and that way they have to, <laughs> like, you know, compete to get to the weapon, and whoever picks it up, picks it up. Yes. But that will usually end the fight quicker. That's it. Thank you. I actually, th- if you have any other ideas, please throw them out at me because that was one of the things we, there, there were a couple of fights that were like, it's like, okay, it's, it's been five minutes. Yep. <laughs> you know, just make them everyone's... roll like level one monks and, and yeah. that way they have to punch or let them roll whatever they want. But if they're stupid enough right. not to roll a monk, then whatever, right. let them okay. punch and, 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 at a certain point, just drop a staff. Drop, like, a cracked staff or some shit in the middle. I like it. That's totally... That answer is actually one of the biggest problems that, that I had with this. Because this is still rough around the edges, you know? This is... Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. And there were, there were some folks on the Red uh, forums that expressed some possible interest in doing something like this over there. I, I would love to do that because... That, I mean, the, everyone on that server loves PvP. Like, they're into it. That's why they play there. So it makes sense to do it there. But I just, I don't know. I always figured that it wouldn't be possible because it because the event itself, would I, I feel like, would just get trashed. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but if you have staff members there to help, like, act as bouncers, I guess, they can <laughs> keep the peace, you know? Oh, I'll come be a bouncer. We'll be, I mean, like, if... bum fight security. <laughs> Send me a, a, a PM then, um, Bracknar. Oh yeah. And, Cause that that'd be cool. I'd love to try it there and see what happens. Cause I think I think there might be more interest on, on a PvP server mm-hmm. in you know a PvP tournament. Mm-hmm. The coach wanted to know where he could find eighty three of the biggest nerds on the internet, and then he came here. So congrats to everybody. Yep, um. It, it, Baven says you should think about moving it to uh, arenas in multiple cities. And Drinking Drano said something. You should make them look, if it's possible, and make them look like desert madmen. I'd have to see if that model's global, but if it is, then yeah. If not, it would only work in the zones where those mobs are. Um, I have to say, is that why some races make you look weird? Yeah, they'll default to human if it's not a global model. Yeah. Uh, and then chat room, I'd say if any of you guys have any ideas, even if you think it's stupid or ridiculous, you should, uh, if you have an idea for P99 bum fights, you should put it in the chat room, because I know Green Grocer would love to hear it, and I'd like to hear it too. Uh, I agree. <clears throat> when's the next bum fights? Uh, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Uh, this coming up Sunday, July 5th, 9 p.m. Eastern. Kano Serena, P99 bum fights. Be there. Oh, actually, I don't think I will be able to. <laughs> no, I'm moving, <laughs> and uh, I may or may not have internet for like a week. Oh, you are the worst. I I'm know. Out of town. Oh my god. Alright, so it might just be me. 
<laughs> that means I can do horrible things to players and no other staff will be there to witness it. What you certainly won't do is frog bomb them. I mean, that, nobody does that. No, absolutely not. That's not a thing that happens. I better not see any of you nerds doing it. <laughs> For real. I'll, I'll whip out the fun police badge and I'll make it stop. <laughs> uh... So, for people, Green Grocer, for people who, uh, if they're interested in signing up to fight in bum fights, how do they do that? There is a thread, uh, I will link it here in just a second, um, and you can, um, check it out. It's got the details of the fight, and a link to PM me, um, let me know your character name and class and stuff, um, and if, like... If we actually get people that want to fight with their mains, you know, be it level 60s or whatever, we can do that. Yeah. And that might be and that might be fun just to get uh, a different aspect on it because it's all just melee. And after a while, that gets a little boring, I guess. Um, and it's cool to have, you know, throw some different things in the mix. So uh, if anyone has any, like, friends that they want to challenge or people that they want to call out, uh, it could be an opportunity to have some fun with that like it we need to get the big guilds to resolve their disputes through uh p99 bum fights hey there you go whoever loses has to give up the next track on or the next faradar i like Done. it i mean i mean Done. let's let's get get creative here <laughs> and and in fact can't you as the gm like just make that a thing so to speak make what exactly a thing just say like all right this is this is how we're gonna decide this this next dragon. I don't know, you know? if Rogan will be okay <laughs> with me forcing players to engage in Mortal Kombat for raid disputes. P99 raid rules: two <laughs> men enter, one man leaves. Uh, please Maybe see. Maybe just one, one dragon a year. I don't know. Just do the annual <laughs> Nam Santo uh, bake sale and dragon slaying benefit. <laughs> uh, dragon wagering bum fights. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. <laughs> I don't think anybody would be okay with that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we have any Class C or any Raiding Guild people in Class R here this evening. But if we do, let me know if you think you'd be okay with solving raid disputes <laughs> through bum fights. I'm curious to hear your thing. And also, I don't know if it's the same person that's saying it twice or if it's multiple people saying the same thing. But I've seen uh, Freeport Theater area mentioned a couple of times. But I don't know if that's big enough. And I just don't know if it's big enough. And those NPCs KOS certain race class combinations. It's a shame. Like, we can't turn off spawners at all, can we? I mean, I could despawn a zone. I could, Or I could move NPCs out of the way. Cause what about the... <clears throat> yeah, good. I, I was just wondering about the like the arena, or is that like locked and only able to be accessed for GM? Stuff? No, the arena is open all the time. It's open. Yeah. Really? Yeah. With was... that, I mean, that is like really the. That's that's where you're supposed to settle your shit, right? Like, <laughs> like that's the global arena. I don't know if anybody ever used that for anything other than GM events. Yeah. Like I don't, I played on a PvP server, so like our shit just happened in the street. But I never heard stories from like blue servers of them being like, "Yeah, we all went down to the arena and we settled our fucking differences like men." It that was would great. be great, though. That would be great, I think. Uh, you know what? One thing I will say is I like be... the updated arena better than the classic arena. Because they have the, the elevated seating for spectators. So. So honest. It was kudos. So honest. <laughs> kudos EQ Live. That's one thing that you upgraded and did better, in my opinion. But that might be the only thing. Oh, and the guild management thing was pretty great. And spell sets was pretty great. Oh, all of the things that P99 used to have when I was a player. That's why I don't play anymore. They took all the things that made life nice away. 
I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys played when we had spell sets, but holy shit, did it make life better? Um, da, 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 da. can we show more of the elite poop sockage at VS? No, <laughs> I'm not going to encourage poop socking, and so I won't. I won't stream it unless I know something is about to pop, or if I want to troll players into thinking that something is about to pop. Both of those are very realistic possibilities. You should troll them more, I think. Oh, people get so mad. They get so mad when I troll them. I, that's what makes it funny. Uh, someone posted a highlight of one of these streams where I don't remember what they were pointing out, but it's something I said, and they're like, Sirkin said this, and he's wrong. Blah, blah, blah. And so I made a post, and I was like, I don't know who's impersonating my voice, but it is absolutely against the rules to impersonate a staff member, and if I find out who that is, they're getting banned. And these nerds took me seriously, and they're like, dude, yeah, no one dude, it's you. Fucking, what, <laughs> why freak it out? It's you, man. It's your thing. And it's like, <laughs> nerds, I know. Holy shit. Like, I didn't realize, like, that's where we were at. <laughs> and... <laughs> I can't even have fun with these people anymore. It made me sad. I died a little bit on that day. Oh, we also had, uh, oh shit, well, I think their names were like Fritos and Doritos. And, uh, someone, we made a joke on stream, like, oh, Fritos and Doritos, same race, same class, same gear, like clearly boxing. And they were at a GM event. But, like, we knew they weren't. We already, like, looked at them. We've had them petition multiple times. And so we knew they weren't boxing. We were joking about it. And then people got all crazy and were like, they fucking see people too boxing and they don't even do anything about it when it's right in front of them. They were even joking about it on Serkin's fucking stream. And it's like, oh, God, guys, really? Like, how did we get to this point? Serkin like, boxing confirmed. I just, I just, it blows my mind sometimes how, how serious people take things. Like, they just, they can't even tell when you're obviously and clearly joking. Like, I'm not even trying to troll people, and I'm not even trying to, like, be misleading. Like, I always feel like it's blatantly obvious what I'm doing. And, uh-uh, they're just not having it. I'm opening my window. Which is going to be gushers still. I don't have Gushers, but I have these. I have a package of Watermelon Sour Patch Kids. Well, there you go. And they're pretty fucking amazing. Well, let me tell you. I had, I had some Sour Patch Kids the other day while I was watching the shittiest movie that I've seen this year, Jurassic World. Was that really bad? I heard it was not a great Jurassic Park movie, but it wasn't a horrible, like, just a movie, movie. Yeah. <laughs> a that, movie with a scary is, creature in it. That is correct. Scary creature movie. <laughs> yes. Movie with Chris Pratt. Essentially, mm. it was it was Jurassic Park like eight or nine, and they just had no business skipping all the way to that one. Like there was a lot of really good stuff they could have could have covered, and it was just a huge disappointment. I feel like Jurassic Park was the grown up version of The Land Before Time. That's what I feel like. Which, by the way, uh, my friend, you none of this is going to be relevant to anybody. But I have two friends, and they just had a, a, a second baby. And the friend's parents brought over my friend's baby stuff that she still had. And was like, here's your old baby stuff. And one of the toys in there was the, like, the rubber hand puppet pterodactyl bird thing from Pizza Hut for the first <laughs> Land Before Time movie. I, I remember those. Mm -hmm. Yep. I had. <laughs> I want to say I had them all, but I don't remember how many there were. So maybe. I know. Yeah, I definitely little... had all those. Yeah. Mm. Was there a dinosaur named Sarah? The Triceratops. That... Yeah. Oh my yep. God! Yep. With yellowish, yep. with like orangey yep. spots. That's the one. The star nice. player was the Brontosaurus. And, oh shit. There's like the Stegosaurus. I don't remember his name. Oh my god, yeah. I don't remember his name. 
I don't remember any of the, Littlefoot is the Brontosaurus. He's yep. the main character. Mm. There's a train going by. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Uh, uh, it's not it's not a quiet train. It's singing to you. I don't know. I think it's verbally assaulting me. Is what it's doing there. It's still going. I'm trying to look out my window like I can see it, but it's just my neighbor's house. But their kitchen light is on and their window's open, so if they're in there, they'll hear me talking about them most likely. Because <laughs> my window's open too, and I'm just kind of projecting my voice out the window. Uh... I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> what the hell were we talking about before I got distracted by trades and sounds and shit? Dinosaurs, the land before time. Oh, Pizza Hut. That's right. We were talking about very important things. Pizza Hut. Oh. Like Happy Meal toys or whatever the whatever you call it, at Pizza Hut. There used to be this the, the prize. They Do they have to, those uh, down in Australia? There, Aussie? Yeah. Out of <laughs> Pizza Hut. Yeah. Well, no, these toys and all this crap we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all that shit too. I don't believe it. Do you have like <laughs> T-shirts with all the teams that didn't win the championships in American sports? <laughs> Like, were you guys rocking, like, a 1991 L.A. Laker champion NBA World Superstar shirts? Because I always wonder which countries get those. You guys have, like, uh, when, like, like the uh, the big porcelain thing, and, you know, you do your business, and you, you flush the thing, and, yeah, you know, and the, and the, really? the handle, really? and you turn it, water comes out. Really? <laughs> No, the important question you have to ask for Australian if they, if they saw the Simpsons Australia episode. Because if you haven't, you should watch it. Oh, uh, yeah. So I probably have. I would tend to watch the Simpsons, but, I mean, that episode does not stick out in my memory. Because so. you're like that's, like, that's how it is normally. Why would it be a, a memorable thing for me? <laughs> Maybe I haven't seen it. I don't know. Oh... Uh... To address Cypher Eno, who wants to know, how can we tell what's a troll and what isn't when you say things like two repops a month, then go an entire month without repops? Here's one clue. Don't listen to anything I say about something that I have no control over or knowledge of. Especially when I've said multiple, multiple times every time the subject is brought up that I have no prior knowledge or control over repops. And that I agree that there should be more of them. And and that's, I'm just going to stop talking at that. The end. That's your answer. You know, um, I've thought about reminding, you know, Rogan, but I know he wouldn't listen to me because I'm a player. And then, you know, he might think he's I, giving me an advantage by listening to me so it's, me right. reminding him would not help if you were like rogan we need to repop at 7 30 p.m on this day please that might be fucked up but if you're just like we need more repops being that like i know what guild you're in and he knows like what you do as a player i really seriously do not think he's going to believe that you are saying yeah, we until need more i get repops. fte if you get FTE oh, right. on anything, I'm I'm done. I'm dropping the mic and I'm walking right out. Now. That's that's how confident I am that that's just yeah, not going to be a thing. I He's making question. fun of me. <laughs> Once you get FTE, what do you plan to do with it? <laughs> I think you um do that phone thing that. Uh... <laughs> Bad phone? Phone uh, a friend? Yeah, bad phone. <laughs> bad is, phone. That, is that the order of things? I can't believe one of you assholes just said phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, so I stand by my statement. You go ahead and bat phone after you get FTE. Let me know how that works out for you. Um... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Rice Ball has a question or a thing for Green Grocer. It says, what about a Hunger Games-style mass arena bum fight called Meat Games? Excellent. I love it, and that's that's the name of it now. And we do it at the end of uh, every bum fights. It's just a free-for-all, last man standing, no Tuesday. rules. 
uh, well, we just do it right there in the arena where everyone is, oh, okay. and you know, we it's just like all right, three, two, one, and kill kill each other, and it's just you know, it's it's ridiculous. And I play elevator music during the whole thing because it's mm-hmm. hilarious to have mm-hmm. mass carnage and death to uh, like swanky elevator music and Mike Samba Tyson's guitar. punch out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, that's what won me over was the, the punch-out sound effects. The first time somebody went down, and it, it had that, that yeah. I can't even make it, but the sound effect of a guy going down and punch-out on Nintendo, I yeah. was sold. I was done. <clears throat> done. So right, right now I'm standing uh, at the entrance to EC Tunnel, and I have just like through my headphones, you guys can't hear it, but I have the sounds on, uh, and I'm logged into bum fights. And so like as people cast buffs and every once in a while someone like drags a puma or like an air uh, elemental and kills it here mm-hmm. um the the sounds just start going off like crazy and, uh every once in a while one of those what one of the creatures dies and yeah it is that like i'm not, I'm not gonna try to do it uh to do it either but it's that yeah, like you fail classic like oh yeah you knocked him down sound oh uh, you know if you just play, um, yeah. If you just play it like normal, and go into your Skype and and kill the the thing that lowers the volume of everything else, we can stream bum fights and still get all that audio with no problem. Really? Yeah. Cause it would it would be recorded the same way like I record you guys. You're just sound coming out of my speakers. It doesn't know if it's Nintendo sound effects or you talking. It has no idea. It's hmm. just sound. And so whatever me talking comes out of, as long as that's what your punch out sounds are coming out of, it's gonna pick up both of us. You just wanna kill the Skype thing that lowers the volume of everything else. But not right now. Okay. Do that shit later. Although actually I guess you could do anything right now because you have a headset and you're not broadcasting, so they wouldn't, or at least my channel wouldn't hear your audio. So you know I, what? I, Do whatever I you want. Into the, I clicked into the settings and I got like two tabs in, and I'm just I got so confused. I I, I hit the red X. I'm done. It's all right. I will when Later. we have time. I will I will take you by the hand and I will walk you through it together. Perfect. Um. Or what about bum fights with a GM despawn zone like Kara Island and weapons hidden all over the zone? Here's the thing with that. Um, I can despawn a zone for a specific amount of time, but there's a limit, and then everything would just repop. And then also, there's a time limit on dropped items. They don't stay on the ground forever. Uh, I don't right. remember. I think it's like five minutes, maybe. And after that, it's gone. Um, Whoa, 1988 has been watching this channel for goddamn ever. I remember you, sir. Um, he wants to know how many P99ers does the staff think left when Rage Fire Lockjaw launched? And to be quite honest, I think zero. We gained players um, from the announcement and then onward. I don't think our players have any interest in non classic EQ, just like their players really don't have any interest in playing here. Uh, we don't offer similar enough experiences to where I feel the player base is very interchangeable. The people that like this version of EQ, this is what they want. And they don't want all the not classic-y stuff of progression. And the people that play there, you can read their forums. They think we're the goddamn scummiest scum of the earth. And so, A, they won't improve my forum account, and B, Everyone just makes it very clear that they don't like us and they think we do horrible things. And you know what? That's fine. If they don't want to play here, they shouldn't play here. But we absolutely didn't lose anybody over the progression servers. If anything, the announcement helped us and has continued to help us. And it will continue to help us. Well, what this one guy mentioned, you know, down 400 people. Well, that's not entirely accurate if you're going off that 1700 number because that number was way inflated because we were on double XP. Before the double XP hit, our average is around 1400 a day, and it's still around 1400 a day. And it's going to go up so it's, it big is. in August. It really is. 
Well, yeah, and then like what was it six months ago? I remember the average was nine hundred in the evenings, and so we we've got five hundred more on now general peak evenings than we did then. So, I think that's true. I don't. I I would agree. I don't think the rage fire population. I, I think maybe that the day it launched we might have dipped a bit, but then when people realized it was not a true, you know, classic experience, then they just they, they dropped it. Well. I could see why they would try it. I mean, yeah. one of the big things coming out uh, was, uh, you know, come play EQ like it was in 1999. And so a lot of people went into it hearing that, thinking and expecting a classic server. And they get there and they're told, oh, no, no, no. This is not a classic server. This is a timeline progression server. And there's a difference. And in a way... In a way, I'll tell you right now, if I didn't know anything about anything, if I had no knowledge of P99, no knowledge of uh, the progression servers, just I'm an old EQ Live player, and I hear this new server's coming out, it's starting at Classic, and come play EQ like it's 1999, I'm expecting a Classic experience. And if I would have resubbed for that, and been told, well, it's not Classic, it's Progression... I would have been absolutely, absolutely furious about it. And they wouldn't have gotten more than one month of sub out of me. And I would have forgiven them. Anyone who's just pissy because of the problems at launch, those people are retarded. Every game, every game usually has problems the day it goes live. And I don't care if it's a new server, if it's a new game, whatever, whatever. You'll never have as many people beta testing as you will actually playing it live. And you're never going to... The people that do log in for beta testing, most of them are just trying to see if they want to buy the game. They're not actually beta testing. And mm -hmm. so, like, launch day problems are to be expected. And people that got crazy over that need to just relax. But the other thing, I, I, I think those people absolutely have a right to be upset. I'd be upset. Well, speaking of that, how do you think our Velius launch is going to go? <laughs> I mean, there's a reason we're doing red first. <laughs> so, uh, I think, but in seriousness, I think it'll be fine. I think there's going to be a lot of people, but I think people grossly underestimate what the server can hold. And uh, I think we'll be fine. I really, truly think we'll be fine. Do, 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 do. You guys mentioned not having new staff for another year. Are you recruiting staff for Bellius, or is there an issue getting the help you need? We were just making jokes because uh, Aussie and Bracknar and Unomia all had starting dates in April of 2013, 14, and 15. And so it's like, oh, well, I guess we're not getting guides till April of 2016. Har, har, har. Um, lots of p99 streamers started streaming ragefire even rogan what's well, good i mean streaming is an awesome way to raise awareness about things there's a lot of people that probably don't follow everquest on twitter and don't visit daybreak forums and never heard of p99 and they're just on twitch and they're looking around and holy shit there's people playing everquest and then they're like what's ragefire and it's like oh it's a new timeline progression server oh i'm gonna check it out so it's, it's good that people are streaming it. But fun fact, EverQuest is only on Twitch because one of the Twitch mods played P99 and had the game added. Um, so we get a point for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we had staff before Rust came out. Can tell by petition times repops. Oh, see, you misunderstood. We haven't been playing Rust since it came out. We've only been playing recently. When it first came out, it was really, really bad. They've done lots and lots of changes. Um, and no Troy. Yeah. You can only blame Rust for the last few weeks. And really, you can only blame me. You can't blame anyone else. And I was still getting IP exemptions done. So I, yeah. was playing, I, was, I had it all. I was playing Rust, and I was getting stuff done. And I'm playing catch-up. So, um, Milk Dream, if you see people trading... Rage fire gold for P99 gold. I mean, you can report them on our petition form www.project1999.com. Uh, red will be a bloodbath on the boat. 
Well, I imagine... Oh my god, he's right. I want to go watch that. Not all guilds are going to be able to make it the first trip, I imagine. It's going to be rough. It's going to be I real even, rough. did not even think about that. Oh, I did. <laughs> you definitely... You need to like just stream that. That's going to be crazy. I can't. I'll record it, but I record can't it, stream yeah. it. Nerds will get crazy. Be like, oh, you're, you're helping them spy on us for That's true. things and PvP and elves and shit. And I can't deal with that. <laughs> yeah, record it for later, though. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Do, 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 do. You would think Daybreak would change EQ drastically when they see every stream is either progression or P99, none of which are normal live EQ. Um, you, Fancy Freak, you actually do see some like non-progression server live EQ streams. I know... Oh, shit. I don't remember the channel name, but the guild abbreviation is ROI and I think he streams Sunday nights either Sunday or Saturday nights and it's a raiding guild there's a lot of people they're constantly doing EQ live stuff and it's not progression server stuff um, and he he gets a good amount of viewers he always ha always has um, around or over you know 100 viewers watching so it definitely happens it's definitely not common but, I mean, you're not going to find a lot of EQ streamers in general. And when you're splitting it between P99, progression server, and uh, non-progression servers, it's it's just... Sm you only have so much pie to go around, you see? And when you slice it into multiple slices, you don't get more pie. You just get smaller slices of pie. And so that's all there is. It's just the, the EverQuest pie is being sliced in different ways. Um... Hey, speaking of streaming, do you ever know what happened to Freddy? Or does anybody in our chat know what happened to Freddy? He was streaming, and then uh, I seen him in Micah David's stream, I think it was. And he was saying that he either moved or had computer issues. There was something, and he was hoping to get streaming again, but then he didn't. And I haven't hmm. seen him. I haven't seen him in any stream chat rooms or anything recently. I enjoyed his stream. I enjoyed his stream a lot. Did you see his drunk stream? Maybe. I, I hosted him the night that Rogan That's and Nobog wrong. came on, and he like just about lost his shit. Yeah. And then people were trying... About... Uh, Freddy something something on Twitch. He, uh, he was taking shots for followers, I think, or donations or something, and a oh, shit ton really? of people went over there. It was like, oh, I'll do this drink, I'll do this drink. And he was like, whoa, guys, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this is oh, not... Somebody, somebody dropped like $100 on him. Oh, and that was shit. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, be careful what you sign up for, man. My the goodness. internet, if you're saying you'll do like a dollar a shot or a shot for every dollar, you can get yourself in a <laughs> lot of trouble. A lot oh, yeah, of he trouble. Got wasted. He got pretty wasted. <laughs> Uh, see, I would never do that because I'm a family-appropriate person. And speaking of family-appropriate person, I did Father's Day on Saturday because my brother had to work last Sunday and he... I might... didn't know you were a father. Congratulations. No, it's not for me. It's for my old man. But listen, I'm not... I haven't made that mistake in life yet. But, uh... Oh, that's not a mistake. <laughs> oh, oh! Trust me, I know a lot of people with kids, and I see that I see what their lives are before and after, and it, nothing I've seen has made me think, "Well, you know what? I really want one of those. That would make my life better." That has never been a thought that popped in my head. But my face is sunburned because I was on a boat Saturday, being a good son. I'm not pleased about it. I don't get sunburned very often and so now my face hurts and i don't know what to do about it were you fishing no no i was just on the boat were you drinking i was drinking there were drinks okay. to be drinking well but uh i feel like what's the problem my face hurts that's the problem <laughs> drink more then uh but i mean for just days should i just be drinking for the next week is that what you're yes yes obviously I don't know. If I'm, I'm going to... I need You'll to see, better. like, wherever you graduated from doctor school at. Call me in the morning. 
Oh, man, I know a guy who graduated from a really good doctor school, and he is one of the dumbest fucking people I've ever come across in my life, and I don't understand how such dumb people make it through, like, such prestigious, like, Ivy League schools. I just do not understand. And, but it happens, it happens, and, and now he's going to make a shit ton of money, he's probably going to be one of the worst doctors on the East Coast. Oh, but I don't live on the East Coast. I live in the middle. I live in Chicago. And the worst thing I have to deal with is Indiana. That's like the Midwest crazy land. So you guys don't live in Indiana. Oh, um, you know me. I live in Indiana a lot. Do people know what state you live in? Like publicly? Can I talk I mean, about it? Or is I that don't. a secret? Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't live in Indiana, but I go there often. I'm sorry. It's like the armpit of it is. America. Uh, guest from last week, Micah Davis, lives closer to you than you live to me. Wow, that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, he told the, me. The guy with the great voice? Yes. Yeah. Wow. The guy I need like, to do Ooh. my elf introduction. No, I, I already <laughs> said he had a voice. Oh... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm serious though. I really do need to get him to record something for an introduction because you certainly do. I thought voice. you were going to have it. I was going to, but then I was just busy all week, and then fucking my bass got no clipped, and I yeah. had to deal with that. <laughs> People don't understand. You think you guys are like, oh, this guy is screen dragging and he's using speed hacks and MQ2. You have no fucking idea. Wait till somebody no clips your your guild bind and deletes all your bind spots so that you just respawn like randomly on the blue server and 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 takes all and your things all your shit. and just drops the shit they don't want on the ground so it despawns and they hack to do all of that oh sounds sounds like a shitty game i'm sorry to say <laughs> god when that happens and why are you it's, playing this it's really and, shitty when that happens no, no, the, the and best. there's no friendly gms doing autumn reimbursements oh why no you... there isn't yeah. All right, well. and one of the better things about it they recently did now is that uh so in the game whenever you don't have any items on you're you're naked buck naked your penis is hanging out, everything, it's right there. So they made the penis size on the character models based upon your Steam ID. So no matter how many times you create a new character, it's always going to have the same penis size. And some are big and some are small. Are there no females? <laughs> they, yet. they are adding females. I've seen yes. the models in the dev Incredible. blogs. Incredible. But isn't that just amazing? I, I just... is that the only trait that they like specifically programmed like this? Yes, uh, like they went so. they went way out of their so way difficult. to make sure. It's yeah, so like... <laughs> your height, your race, your height and race are random, and then your dong size but is based on your dead. steam. Yeah, oh man, that is just yeah amazing. We got a uh, we got a nerd who just recently started a new Steam account because he got banned for cheating. And so he's got nothing on the Steam account. And he's got the tiniest little donger. <laughs> <laughs> and is it like, is it like the more like games you buy, like the more money you spend on Steam, like the bigger your dong gets? Or is I think it just it's like... mostly like achievements and and games played and stuff. <laughs> oh so there are Fuck. enhancement tools. I mean, yeah, play better. <laughs> You want a bigger what? dong? Play better. Wow. <laughs> that's 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 science right there. You can't argue with that, science. Shit. I'm convinced. Where do I sign up? <laughs> I will PM you information after the stream. <laughs> actually, I don't know if I can play with you, actually, because I'm not supposed to play games with players. There's no, like, rule against it. But people freak out about every little thing. And so I decided that if I did play rust with somebody they'd be like oh my god Sirkin's best friends with this guy since forever and they play rust and favoritism help and so we can't have nice things yeah, and green grocer might give you a deal on his food that he wouldn't give to somebody else maybe but he'll get some kind of rare meat and people will be like <laughs> oh Gia must have given him that don't you know they're friends they play rust Sirkin meat Oh god damn it! There, we have a guy named Maskers in our 
in our little rust crew and I needed food and he was sleeping so I just killed him and harvested his meat and started cooking it and he's like Wait, what do really? you eat yeah really and he's like what are you eating and I'm like masker meat <laughs> and and then I offered him some of himself after he respawned have you seen oh. in rust those guys that make the little trading outposts that would so be green grocer <laughs> I, I, what Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold what, on. You what, killed what? a guy, and you took his meat, and then you cooked it. And then I ate it. He made meat what, out of the guy. What, 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 pro, like, what did it craft? Like, what was the name of the thing? Like Raw <laughs> human meat. <laughs> but after you cooked, mm -hmm. or is that how you ate it? You just oh, no, it and then right? I cooked it, and then it was cooked human meat. <laughs> yeah, they're not even trying to hide it. It looks like a finger. Can you, <laughs> can you... oh, man. Can you do anything else with it? I'm no, sorry, I, I could talk about this for, like, the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Maybe, maybe. It's just, it, it, it interests me. I will I will talk to you about <laughs> cooking human meat as, for as long as you want to talk about that, sir. I'm, Look forward. I'm on board with that. That's one of my favorite conversations. Uh, one thing we did that was really cool was we found these fucking Asians that were cheating. They had an underground base. And I don't mean, like, underground, like you go in a cave and you're like a mole man. I mean, they glitched under the map, like, zoning into Nectulus without updating to .eqg or uh, .old from EQG. And you're under the map looking at all the NPCs above you. They got under that, and they built a whole fucking base. And they thought they were the cleverest little Asians in the world. What they didn't know was that me and my little exploiting group of friends can get under the map too. And so we got under the map. We found a cave. We used a box to push ourselves through the wall. We dropped into the water, swam up their safety stairs, and boom, we're on their underground platform system. And we took it right to their goddamn base, and we murdered them, and we killed them. And they had the audacity to call us hackers and cheaters. <laughs> and then and we we took all their shit and we left. We got back to our base. We started putting it away. Literally two two to five minutes after we get home, an admin logs into the server. And so having just raided the Asians, we're like, yo, admin such and such. There's an underground base right here if you want to just annihilate it out of existence. And so we showed him where it was. And then he went and C4'd the absolute shit out of it. And that felt so good because we took all of their things and then an admin c 4 them out of the game. So, you know, Mia, what do you think about that? I want to hear your thoughts. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I would like to play. I mean, oh man, you can absolutely you play with us. You totally if you want to get the, if you want to get me the game, add me on Steam. I'll buy you that fucking game. Oh no doubt. <laughs> I wonder how big you know me and Dong would be. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be the biggest of all of, of, of anyone. Uh, <laughs> is it is it random like or or no, is it? No, it's based on your Steam account. So that's great. <laughs> that's that's free. I, I is it really Sirkin? or yeah? I, that, no, that, that's, that's real. Like, serious, yeah. Wow. <laughs> And they just added, like... So much time and effort went into this, guys. I, I guarantee it. Like, it had to be planned and, like, designed and then implemented and bug-tested. Well, I think oh. we're bug-testing it right now, to be honest. Yeah, it's in oh. early, early oh, alpha good. still. But... I would love to hear that initial conversation, too. They're like, guys, 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 guys right. I got this idea, right? Like, let me tell you about this fucking idea I got. <laughs> You're going to love it. You know how we got dongs flopping all over our game and they're just all random? Well, oh, that, I would I would love to be a fly on the wall in that room. Mm -hmm. they, they had to smoke something before that idea. They oh, probably I sure smoke so. a lot of things and then drink some things and then fucking <laughs> all kinds yeah. of things. I really hope they were not sober when they came up with all of these ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a plus. Um, I'm looking at chat room. <laughs> Have we Sirkin, lost anyone? <laughs> I don't know. Sirkin, can you talk to Nilbog Rogan about implementing penis sizes <laughs> based on account names? <laughs> I can see this solving all red server issues. <laughs> 
Oh, God damn Every it. time you, you get in an, you know, like a suspension, it makes it smaller. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> You that'd could tie it to like the faction message, like your your <laughs> faction, or, or you, you could tie it in with that system somehow. <laughs> oh, your donger size has gotten smaller. Yeah. God damn it. With a little number next to it. It's not classic. That is not classic at all. No. Red server be so fucked. The average size of red as a whole would be smaller than blue. Shots fired. Yeah. Shots fired, red server. Um, Olaris, I might be a bit of a dirty exploiter. I've I've lived inside the globe that we exploited to get in. We exploited under a cave to get under the map. We we used a cave to get under the map in the like the forest, and then built platforms all the way south to the desert, and then built a fake pyramid on top of it. So it looked like a legit base, but it was all fucking underground. Um, we actually have uh, YouTube footage of an admin finding that base and then nuking the shit out of it. But I can't share it with you guys because the guy who recorded it sounds like a goddamn serial killer. And I don't <laughs> want to share. Like, I don't want you guys to know, like, that's the type of human being I'm hanging out with. Uh, Bracknar, <laughs> you know. You know. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> he sounds like a serial killer. He really does. Like, like remorseless. AFK, I have to go murder this puppy. And yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. But he doesn't say that. He, he says all of that with his AFK. And you're just, it scares you a little bit. And, like, you don't want to make him a room in your base. But it's like, if you don't make him a room, is he going to hack you? Also, I might use a net balancer to lagbot people sometimes. But, like, you know, if it's a big fight, like, three on three, four on four, five on five, something like that, and you got guys behind rocks and shit, they don't know. I just lag bot, pop out, shoot a guy in the face, like, six times, and then reconnect the upload speed. Boom. They die, and they just assume it was legit. It's A+. plus. It is A+. Plus. And I don't even consider it cheating. I feel like I'm helping them test their game that's in alpha. That's something that needs to be fixed, and so I have to use it until they fix it so that they know it's still a problem. I'm helping. Uh, XMO123 has a great question. Uh, when you make a petition in the petition form at www.project1999.com, what does it mean when you have the word flag in parentheses oh. in the subject of your petition? So, what, what you know me, one of the things you know Mia does is she goes through the petition form and she opens and reads every single goddamn thing in there and sees who it's supposed to go to and then assigns it to a person who is supposed to deal with it. Be it me, be it Aussie, be it Bracknar, be it uh, Morgan, be it uh, Rogan or Nilbog, be it whoever. And so that's a thing. And after uh, after Darabelle retired, we, we me and Unomia got into a little tiff about what was going to be put in the subject line. And she decided flag was going to be the new thing until we replaced that position. And so if you see flag, it essentially means that that petition would have went to a previous staff member who's no longer with us. And and so there's not a person to assign it to. But now there are people working on those things, and I assume that the newer ones coming in will be starting to get assigned to specific people, and people won't just see flag in there. And for all you people who have flag in your petition and you think I'm just ignoring you, I've never even seen your petition because it's not flagged for me. And so I'm very, very sincerely, horribly sorry how because I know it's been a very long wait. But I do promise there's people working on those things and I do promise I'm not the person you're waiting for. I want to add something, please. Add your things. Okay. If I could label it Sirkin... I would, believe me, because I've tried sometimes, and then we have a debate about how there's no way he can deal with that. So if it says flag, don't think Serkin can do it. He can't. I can't. It's not even like a choice thing. Like I just, there's, I can't deal with certain things because I don't have the access to, uh, if, if I'm going to take action that may result in, in removing someone's ability to play here. I need to be 
as close to 100% certain as I can be. <clears throat> and knowing that there's tools out there that can confirm a suspicion and, and not having those tools when there is a chance the player is not wrong or not in the wrong, it, it, I don't feel right pulling the trigger <laughs> under those circumstances. And so I can't deal with them. And then there's just certain things I can't look up that need to be looked up before they can be verified and replaced or restored or resolved or whatever R word you want to stick in there. Uh, sir, can you call him a murderer, but you are the one eating human meat. But I'm eating human pixel meat, and I think he's eating actual people. That's the difference. <laughs> You guys don't understand. Like you think I'm you joking. No, I'm not. He's totally not I'm joking. not joking. I'm not joking. Even I have to mute him in TeamSpeak sometimes because he fucking creeps me out. And I legit want to show you guys the video he recorded because he was down in the underground base when the admin logged in and saw our base and just started dropping C4 on literally every tile of everything we had built. And the problem is he's talking, and so you can hear him and. It's frightening. Like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, do, 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 do. Green Grocer, when are you in EC so I can do some meat spins from Drink and Drano? Uh, I will try to get in there sometime um, this week. Usually during the days, you can find me there. I'm, I just kind of leave it up uh, on another computer while I work. So <laughs> I'm like usually AFK. But if you uh, shoot me a tell and you're on for a while, uh, eventually I'll get back to you. So basically, uh, when you log in, send them a message. Don't wait yeah. till you have 20 minutes left of gameplay. Do it right in the beginning and then just wait. Maybe send a new message every hour in case his, his, his business is so booming that your tell got spammed right off the window. That's right. That's right. You don't know. Happens, Nam Santo is unstoppable. Off. First the EC tunnel, then Quenos, then the world, bitches. You know it. I'm on top. Of it. I'm I'm on to you, sir. <laughs> um, uh, you know me. You are ten times more alpha than I am. That's what Eximo wants you to know. <laughs> so A plus. And on that fine note, I got nothing. I have nothing else. So do you guys have anything else? Oh, I got nothing. 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 Anything, uh, Green Grocer, you want to you wanna plug your things one more time? Sure. Uh, this is coming up Sunday, July 5th, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, Kano's Arena. We're going to do bum fights, so roll a level one, you know, monk, warrior, um, melee class is probably going to do better than, mm -hmm. uh, than a caster at a level one. So uh, come ready to, uh, to duke it out. Uh, winner gets 50 copper and a rat ear sandwich and bragging rights. So, yes, uh, next Sunday, uh, check the forum thread. I'll post it in the uh, chat here in a second. I see That's a it. streamer named Uncle Bugsy with Namsanto Industries in his uh, stream title. Is he one yes. of your people? Uncle Bugsy is great people. I highly recommend you check him out. If if is if he's streaming now, uh, he you is. Should, I'm gonna host him when we're done. You should host him. Perfect. Yeah. yeah let's let's all bomb him. He's he's cool. Uh, he's new to the server. I have kind of just been watching his stream while I work. It makes me feel like I'm playing a video game instead of working. It's <laughs> it sort of works. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's cool. It's. He's he's got a real nice, real nice professional stream. Kind of kind of not like this one, is what you're saying. Kind of the opposite. <laughs> kind of does the have, opposite. Does he have coupons? I haven't seen any uh, any coupons yet, but you know you never know. He he, exactly. he just tagged up with Nomsanto uh, Nomsanto. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he just tagged up uh, last week, so we'll. We'll see what kind of uh, fresh ideas he's got. There's an airplane flying over my house. Look for the airdrop. <laughs> uh, you don't even know. I heard fireworks going off, and my first thing was C4. <laughs> it was like, boom! I'm like, someone's getting raided. <laughs> it's fucking bad. It's really bad. 
Oh, I hope all our shit is still there when we get back. I really do. I hate logging in and seeing everything gone, but I'm pretty sure I, I figured out what they're looking for. And as long as we don't have a lot of those things, we should be fine. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> that's it. Green Grocer, thank you very much for joining us this fine evening. And I look very forward to uh, playing around with you Sunday night, July 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern in Quaino Serena for P99 Bum Fights. See what I did there? I plugged your thing while saying thank goodbye. You, sir. That's what thank I did. You. I was multitasking, but with words. I feel I should get bonus points for that. Whoever's keeping track of points, give me an extra one for that. Points. Mm-hmm. Um, Aussie. Yes, sir. Say goodbye to these fine people, and thank you for joining us as well, because I know it's probably some stupid asshole time out by you right now. It's only 3 p.m., so... All no, right, it's so it's true. actually oh. more of a stupid time for us than it is for you. That is correct. So, thank you for one, people, and, uh... Good day, mate. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Bracknar. Yes. Thank you for joining us again this evening, and and say goodbye to these people. Goodbye, everybody. A plus. You know me. I guess what? I saved you for last because you're the uh, best. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, see you in the game. I'm putting you guys on hold now. That's the part of the call we're at. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching and listening and all of those things. Hit the follow button and you'll know when we're streaming because some things are Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. That's this thing. But the other things, they're at different times on different days. And sometimes they happen and sometimes they don't happen. If you want to know when they happen, follow button. If you caught part of this and you want to catch the rest of it or you want to go back and watch the old things, youtube.com slash circuitp99. And if you want classic EverQuest, www.project1999.com We do it better than anyone else on the internet. I will talk to you wonderful, wonderful people later. Maybe. I have to find a thing where I click a button and then it plays a video. Doot, 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 doot. I found it. Bye, guys.